You don't have to apologize. Okay, Why are your pants undone? Welcome to Code 33. Today I'll bring you a series of cases of drunk driving arrests. In this video, you'll witness the police process of handling and apprehending all suspects for driving under the influence of alcohol. Let's watch videos and learn lessons from these cases. The next incident is another case of an accident caused by a drunk driver and police resolution. Police were present at the scene of a traffic accident between a Toyota truck and a Ford on Chestnut Ridge Road. Observing the accident scene, the police identified the driver of the Toyota as the one responsible for the accident. All right. Thanks, man. Bye. Miss, open the door. Step out because your car's smoking. Are you okay? Why don't you step out? Uh, yeah, can you? An officer detected alcohol odor and signs of intoxication from her. When questioned, the female driver admitted to drinking alcohol and starting to lose consciousness. How much have you had to drink? Four six drinks. Four? No, five or six drinks. However, what, what does that mean? Five or six. Five or six? Drinks. What kind of drinks? Vodka, cocktail drinks. Vodka and cocktail. Do you want to sit on the curb? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second, let me put this glove on and I have you grab my hand. Grab my hand. Come sit on this curb. Okay, okay. Perfect. Can you sit up? You're gonna get more sick that way if you lay down. How do you process it? Hmm? You just take it to the hospital? Yeah. Uh, she admitted five to six cocktails, vodka drinks. She couldn't even look at my finger, so she smelled that in the court. She couldn't even follow directions. So just can't, the process can't, can't work as normal? Not the DUI stuff. Uh, well, yes, the DUI stuff still, too, but uh, take it down to the hospital. It's uh, called the judge for a blood draw warrant. Oh, Jesus. Or you bring the consent forms for a blood draw. She could say yes or no. Either way, they're going to take blood. Because she's so out of it. Yeah. And then whatever the test results, you usually get them in a couple weeks, two weeks, three weeks. Oh, really? And then uh, they'll be able to tell you how much alcohol is in her system or any other drugs. To ensure her health, the police quickly dispatched medical personnel and an ambulance to take her to the hospital. Sage, can you sit up? Try to sit up. Grab my hand. Let's sit up. Uh. Hey. Highly intox, says she had about five or six vodka drinks um, on top of whatever injury she sustained crashing to that thing. No, she said she has leg pain. Which leg is it? Which leg pain do you have? Where's your... She's completely out of it. Bobby's gonna leave his car around the corner. Okay. So I figured we'd come and grab it after we, uh... yeah. He was just parking his car around the corner. So. And he's walking. I don't know. I don't know if he's in the rig yet. I don't think so. Oh, he's over there. According to additional information from the police, after regaining consciousness, the girl received summons for DWI, reckless drivings, and traffic violations. Drunk driving not only endangers the driver, but also greatly affects other commuters. Therefore, strict penalties are needed to deal with these offenders. Let's move on to the next case involving a reckless drunk driver on the road. Police detected the vehicle moving erratically and drifting out of lane, so they requested the vehicle to stop for inspection. Hi, I'm Officer Vasquez with the State Police Department. I pulled you over today for a few reasons, okay? Okay. Okay, number one, when you left the Westgate shopping area, you went into the wrong lane of traffic when I you did? made your... Oh yeah, you did. Wrong lane of traffic until you came back in. Besides that, you're all over the road, and number three, you're speeding. Do you have your driver's license, your insurance, your registration, please? Okay, give me one second, okay? Okay, where are you coming from, hon? I'm just coming from Barristan. I okay. just came out to work, I'm sorry. Okay. Your registration is on your insurance? Yes, sir. Okay. It's okay to pull out my phone? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm sorry. 
You don't have to apologize. Okay, Why are your pants undone? Uh, because I was changing before. I didn't know I was going to be pulled over, so I was okay. just changing. Okay. Um, I'm not, I'm sorry. I just came off work, actually. Okay. So. Where are you going? I came from Twin Peaks, and I changed in my outfit because I was wearing shorts, and I just thought I was going home, so. Fair enough. I didn't know I was going. Where are you going? I was going, actually, I'm off of Madison Road, uh -huh. near the, uh, the Walmart, so I'm off of, it was my, uh, House, so. okay. Suspecting the girl had been drinking, the police conducted sobriety tests and breath alcohol tests. Come on out. Um, I'm going to give you a chance to get decent. Can I put my pants on? Yeah, please do. That's why I'm going to give you a chance to get decent I right now. I'm them because I was drinking, so. Okay. Do you have anything in your pockets? No, sir. Any drugs in the vehicle? Anything like that? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. No, just come on over here. Okay. I'm going to have you stand right here in front of my car for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you see this on my finger? Okay. With your eyes, and your eyes alone, I want you to follow the tip of my finger, okay? Okay. Alright, I want you to put your left foot on this line right here. There? Yep, can you see it? Yep. I want you to put your right foot directly in front of it, heel to toe, and your arms down to your side, and stay just like that until I tell you to do it otherwise, okay? okay. When I tell you to begin, I want you to take a series of nine heel to toe steps on that line, okay? Keep okay. your arms down to your sides, and once you start the test, do not stop unless you complete the test, okay? Okay. Okay, for the next test, what I want you to do is put your feet together, put your arms back down to your sides, and stay Sorry. just like that, okay? okay? When I tell you to begin on this one, here, let's do it, let's do it this way. Oh, that's not right. Spread. Don't forget to count. Oh, 1,001, You may stop. Okay. That was okay. Okay. Would you mind coming over here for me? Yes, Do you have anything in your mouth? Do you have your tongue for me? Okay. 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 Tell me your first name again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leah What's your, Bartlett. Leah Bartlett. Miss yes, Bartlett. Sir. Do you go by any other names? No, sir. No? Okay. Leah, I'm going to ask you to take a preliminary breath test. The PBT it is not admissible in court unless your attorney, if you decide to have an attorney, if we get to that point, okay. decides to bring it in. I believe you are well over the legal limit. The state of Arkansas, the per se limit in Arkansas is 0 .08. Do you, will you take a breath test for me? Um, yes sir. Okay. Good, see, deep breath. Okay. And blow. Blow, 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 Okay. See what that says? 1.58. 0.158, yes. So you are almost double the legal limit, hun. Do I need to have someone to come and pick me up? No, you don't. The test results showed the BAC of 0.158%, nearly twice the legal limit. You are under arrest. Okay. Okay. Palms together like they're praying. Do you have anything in the vehicle that you absolutely need? Okay. Where do you think your driver's license is at? Separate your hands for me, please. I'm sorry. It's okay. Although the girl appeared very remorseful for her actions, she was still arrested for drunk driving. Throughout the processing, the officer gave her a lot of advice urging her to learn from this incident and strive to be better in the future. The girl was taken back to the station to complete the investigation procedures and received a summons to appear in court for the charge of driving under the influence. For this offense, she will have to pay fines ranging from $500 to $2,500, have her driver's license suspended for one year, and attend alcohol education classes for drivers. The next incident involves a woman who used to be a law school student arrested for drunk driving. Police were conducting a check on a female driver suspected of using alcohol. If you don't mind, can you just step uh, over here in front of the vehicle? You can do it behind her car. Over, yeah. over here. Step over here. We got to let you know our camera's already in video recording, alright? Okay. You can face me. So I just want to make sure everything's okay and you're safe to drive, okay? Appreciate it. So we're going to run you through some uh, pre-exits tests, okay? okay. Alright, so what's your highest level of education? Uh, I went to law school. By the way, where are you coming from? I'm from Blue House. 
How many drinks have you had? Two. Two? What time did you get there? Uh, eight o'clock, nine, nine thirty. Okay, what was the last time you had your last drink? Ten. Okay. During the interrogation, the woman admitted to drinking alcohol and was asked to undergo sobriety tests on the spot. I would like you to recite the alphabet without singing, starting with the letter G and ending with the letter S. Do you understand these instructions? Yes. Okay, you may begin. G H I J K L M N O P Q R S. Okay, good. The next test I'm going to have you do is count backwards. You're familiar with counting numbers? Okay, so what I want you to do is count backwards, starting with the number 70 and ending with the number 56. Do you understand those instructions? Okay, you may begin. Okay. Just take a step back real quick. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just going to your eyes, okay? So I'm going to do this, just put your feet together all the way like the back, right? Okay. Arms out of your side with your right foot in favor of left foot. Touching heel to toe. So you're going to keep your arms down to your side. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps forward while keeping your arms on your side, counting out loud. You understand these instructions? Okay, okay you may begin, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so the next test I'm going to have you perform is called the one-legged stand test, okay? okay? Do you need me to explain anything else or you understand the test? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, you may begin. Begin. So one, Although the police calmly instructed her on the test, she still couldn't pass. Based on the test results and signs of intoxication, the female driver was arrested for drunk driving. It seems that coming from law school helped the woman take responsibility for her actions and comply with police orders better than other drunk drivers. This video serves as a reminder of the consequences of drunk driving regardless of one's educational background or circumstances. It also emphasizes the importance of responsibility and awareness when participating in traffic. The following suspect was arrested for driving under the influence and causing a serious accident. On the evening of April 21, 2023, Sergeant was present at the scene of the accident on River Road where a Tesla car was severely damaged and the airbags deployed. Ma'am. Baby. Ma'am. Baby, I'm outside. Gotta open the door, kid. Priscilla, you gotta come out. Ma'am. Ma'am, are you injured? Are you okay? Ma'am, are you injured? <laughs> Ma'am, are you okay? injured? I gotta take care of you. Are you okay? I am, but I need to... Ma'am, to... ma'am, step to the back of the car, please. Why? Ma'am. Okay, all right, it's all right. No. Right. Ma'am. Ma'am. What happened? What's the matter? Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Nope, not doing that. The driver was a woman showing signs of intoxication. Upon approaching her, the police also detected the smell of alcohol and suspected she was driving under the influence. Nobody fled upon my arrival he unless they fled before you. Ma'am, can you step I'm out, right please? Here. No, I'm not going to step out. I don't feel safe, so shut the fuck up. Ma'am, step, uh, step out, please. Ma'am, step out, please. Step out, please. That's going to work. Here. Despite police requests for cooperation in the investigation, she displayed aggression and refused to cooperate or undergo medical examination. Can you hang up the phone? No, I can't hang up the phone. You have to, hang up the you phone. Have to wait. I have to wait? Yes, no. you do. Do you have your ID on you? I don't know. You don't know? Ma'am, let's we'll start with this. What did Can you I hit? Can I talk to a lawyer again? Ma'am. Ma'am. He doesn't want to. He said no. Ma'am, what did you hit? I am out of the car. Okay. Oh, no, I'm 
I'm going to stay here. Do not touch me. Do not fucking touch me. I feel safe here. Thank you. Do not touch me. Do not fucking touch me. You get put in handcuffs. Step away from the car. You're in the roadway. You need to step away from the car now. I'm not doing anything. I'm right. I'm one more time. I'm right in front of the cross. Country, the cross step country. Step away from your car. You're in the roadway. If you don't step away I'm not in the roadway. Yes, I'm are. on the sidewalk step right here. Don't, don't, don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Okay. You piece of shit. Due to the driver's combative and uncooperative behavior, sobriety tests were bypassed. Why? 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 Ma'am. 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 Then arrest me. Do you feel sorry, sir? No, not yet. Do you have an active restraining order against uh, a Shut the right fuck now? up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, how much you got to drink today? I'm sorry. No, it was the airbag. I got hit by the guy that was dead. She ran from me. Why don't you check that? Uh, I'd rather just make sure she's okay. She's first. okay. Yeah, let them look at just you. Let them look at you. Let them clean you up at least. Please. Um, so do you want to tell us what led to the accident? Fuck you. Were you running from somebody? Did Fuck you. Did you fear for your life? Fuck you. Based on evidence from the accident and signs of alcohol intoxication, the police decided to arrest her for driving under the influence. Hello. Get off of me. Get off of me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Get off of me, you fucking asshole! The woman was taken to the station for further breath alcohol testing, resulting in a reading of 0.11%. Subsequently, the woman was released on bail and served with summons for driving under the influence and reckless driving. For these violations, she faces fines ranging from $600 to $2,000, a license suspension of six months to two years, and mandatory participation in drunk driving education classes. Recorded on April 21, 2023. The police are tailing a vehicle that violated traffic safety regulations and attempted to flee upon noticing law enforcement. Driver, get out of the car! Driver, get out of the car! Driver, get out of the car! Get out of the car! Step out! Face away! Passenger, stay in the car! Driver, put your hands up! Face away! Hands up! High! 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 Perfect! Stay low, backwards, 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 backwards. Stop! Stop! Take two steps to your right! How many people are in the car? The police promptly initiated an investigation due to suspicion that the female driver was driving under the influence of alcohol. During the interrogation of the female passenger, she displayed a dismissive attitude and challenged the officers on duty. Like I said, we're literally just going to pop in the doors and just go right back here. It's fine. Are they going to move my car too? Um, it's, it's good right there for right now because there's uh, police cars and whatnot. But so we'll figure it out. Where else we want. Oh, what? The issue was at the speeding. Hey, you're going 100. You're going 115 miles an hour. How about you just going to go airborne? Subsequently, the police continued to assess the sobriety of the female driver and found her plea affected by alcohol. Can you run a 29 check on the top name of the driver's 43? 
Despite her continuous crying and begging for forgiveness from the police, she was arrested and escorted to the station for further processing. For driving under the influence and refusing chemical testing, the woman will face severe penalties for her offense. Driving under the influence of alcohol is extremely dangerous, and such reckless driving can lead to serious consequences for both the driver and other road users. This incident serves as a warning bell about the current issue of drunk driving, emphasizing the need for heightened awareness and responsibility. This time, the suspect is a dangerously intoxicated woman behind the wheel. Can you guess what consequences the suspect will face? The police arrived at the scene after receiving reports of a drunk driver causing two consecutive collisions. She's the one that hit my house. She's right there? Yeah. Okay, where did she hit your house? It's over there in the corner. In the corner? Okay. Yeah. Hello. How's it going, ma'am? Good. You know what? Are you okay? Yeah. Are, are, are you okay? I am. I just want to make sure, you know, it seems like you did get into a motor you know vehicle what? accident. I want to make sure you're not stumbling you know or anything. You know what? I, I'm fine. Okay. That is good to you hear. You know what? You, you can leave. Can and leave? guess what? I'm, I'm fine. I, I can't do that, man. I, I won't be doing that, but can I have your name at least? You Where don't you know my name. Hmm? You don't know my fucking name. Where are you to her, sir? You know what, what? Sosa? You don't know my husband. Name. Do you know if she's been drinking? Yeah, she has. No, yeah. I haven't. No, you know I haven't. When questioned by the police, the woman vehemently denied her wrongdoing but couldn't evade arrest for investigation. No, I, I haven't. You down there? Yeah, with the first house. Okay, the very first house. Do you know where the car is? It's in the house. It's in the house? Well, practice. Do you know if anyone was injured over no, there? Nobody she hit the corner of the garage. Yeah, the corner of the garage. Okay. It's our house. It's okay. Okay. Stop. 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 But well, we're gonna stand by for now for like as best as we don't don't be so so me. I I I am so so sorry. Are you sure you don't want it, you don't want any medical attention? No, okay, you know what? Go ahead and sit down I, for now, okay? I I am so so sorry. Oh, it's okay. You know what? Um, try to move your feet a little bit, okay? According to witnesses, the woman rammed into a lamp post and then proceeded to crash into a neighboring restaurant. Hello. Can you tell me what happened, what you heard at least? Well, I was actually in the bathroom looking at the camera because I saw the person that stopped, uh, hit the stop sign. And then, as I was watching the camera, I saw this happen on the camera. Along with CCTV footage confirmation, the police verified the suspect's actions. 
Go ahead and send you an evidence link. Okay. Just click the link and if you could submit those videos. So what is that? I have to get a police report to get an insurance claim? Right? No, I'll so be they, making the report. Okay. So all this will be on the report and then if you upload the video footage, that will be in the report. At the medical center, the suspect continuously shouted and resisted the police, leading them to employ restraining measures. You know what? Just, just leave me here in the grass. Look, let's go ahead and step outside, okay? Man, don't, good. don't kick him. Please Sit don't kick him. No, Mira. Mira, you, know what? A whole different story. you know what? I, I would never. You know why? Because I love God I love with God all too. my heart. God loves you. It's okay. Don't. You know what? It's all right. I you know what? And you know what? I do actually. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Look, look over here. Let's go this way. You know this what? Way, Please. Okay. Please. Please. Don't hurt me. It's okay. It's okay. Lay back for me. Lay back. Let's get you inside where it's cool. Yeah. You know what? Go ahead and sit down. No, 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 no. Okay. You sit down. It's okay. You know what? You need to sit down. Please. You know what? What? What is your first step? Hey. You know what? There we go. You know what? Don't be doing Don't that. Be Don't be doing that. However, the suspects continued non-compliance escalated the situation, resulting in her transfer to jail custody on charges of DWI and resisting law enforcement officers. Okay, now we have to have you go on your stomach, okay? Go ahead and go to your stomach. We don't want you to get hurt. Watch your head. This incident demonstrates the challenges law enforcement officers face when dealing with individuals exhibiting abnormal behavior and underscores the importance of maintaining calm and professionalism in similar cases. The lesson for viewers is the importance of making responsible decisions, especially regarding alcohol and driving. Though mistakes are made, it's crucial to learn from them, take responsibility, and strive for positive change. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support me. Thank you and have a great day.